So what happens in the developmental centers is uh, they are coached before the developmental center. This developmental center is not an exam. This is to review the person on his uh, um, on his ability to get along with the group, ability to get along with people, ability to show leadership, ability to uh, talk properly, show etiquette, uh, all those many many aspects. And when they go through these four or five centers. And if they come out with decent uh, uh, performance in that from an external evaluation point of view, I think it makes a big difference to this person because at the end of the day, he realizes he can be more self-confident and, and move around with more self-respect than what he was otherwise. Mm -hmm. well, some people are not taking it good. So we give extra coaching and, and tutoring to them. Some people are taking it good and they're doing it well. Similarly, we send senior people to Harvard and, and Wharton and and uh, London Business School and all that. They get to interact with 45, 50 other executives from across the globe from other companies, not necessarily an engineering company, but consumer, retail, banking, etc. I think that opens up their mind and they get a network of 40, 50 people to correspond with. Uh, then we have this huge Lonavala uh, Management Development Center, similarly a Project Management Center, etc. Where people, where people of different ICs and SBGs sit together and they get a chance to interact, learn and also meet people of different uh, backgrounds and intellectual horsepower to see what is, what is them and what can be them and how can be them and thereby improve themselves. So this is what happens on the, on the, on the intelligence side, on the intellectual side. On the spiritual side, I must confess, confess we are not there to that extent. But whenever we conduct this management development program, the executive development programs at Lonavala, I think there's a lot of gamesmanship, uh, yoga, and even discourses given by external people to bring people up uh, in that plane to a certain extent. Mm. But if you ask me whether we are doing utmost in it, no, we are not at there to the extent that we believe we should. Uh, so we may be more on the intellectual and management side and less on the spiritual side. But that's a good thought process. Thank you so much for sharing because I think uh, you are you have demonstrated and in your values, you are really a, a, a well-being company. What I call a well-being company, we caring for your employees, mm -hmm. and all the rest. Uh, Actually, any, I think, uh, some stuff. One more thing you may like to share about is be inspired. Oh yeah. So for the lady employees, which I should have said recently, they have started. Uh, they put all the ladies together. And they have this uh, they have this program called Winspire, mm -hmm. where they call external ladies of uh, reasonable achievements to talk on their lives, on their way they went about. Well, ladies generally have it more difficult than men, right? So you you get married, you have your parents and in-laws to manage, you have your husband to manage, your household to manage, your children to manage. And so they're they're five X of us in, in that sense, uh, and some of them manage within the company, some of them are finding it difficult. The Winsphere program gives out the true talk by some very highly achieved ladies, as I said, on how they have gone about all this aspect of life and how they have finally reached where they are. I think that makes a big difference to many of our ladies. It opens their mind up to, if they can't do it, why can't we? Right. And that's a very, very good program that is going on. Right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, any parting thoughts, uh, any advice to somebody who's trying to build a culture of well-being? As I said, keep the entire thing positive. I think everything flows from positiveness. Okay. Uh, negatives will be there, but convert negativity is also into positivity. Thank you so much.